Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can download and install Kali Linux in our Windows device. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so now here you can see I am on my computer screen and I already have VMware Workstation Player installed, which we're going to use to install Kali Linux inside Windows 11. Now, let me quickly open browser here. And now I'm gonna type Kali Linux download and there we go here we can see this link which will take you to the Kali Linux official page if we go down here we can go to Kali Linux download page now um, here we have got these option you can go with virtual machine or you can go with this installer image since I'm going to install this in VMware therefore I'm gonna go with this virtual machine now let me click here on this uh, VMware one and after we click on it we can see that there is a direct download link so let's wait for the download process to get completed and it's actually good as we do not need to build any virtual machine setup that again going to save a lot of our time which is really nice and there we go we have successfully downloaded it now let me open the folder where we have downloaded it now let me extract it and it requires 7 zip if in case you are using microsoft default archiver getting 7 zip for free is pretty easy guys you simply can type in your browser 7 zip download or else you can also go with WinRAR. It's up to you which one you choose. So from this website, you can download 7-zip, which you can utilize to extract your Kali Linux. Now, let me go inside this folder. And there we go. So we can see that here we have got this virtual machine available. Now, um, let me make a double click on it. So this will basically start my VMware workstation player and there we go we are starting this for the first time now here you can either go with advanced setup or you can directly go with kali gnu slash linux let me hit enter with the first option selected and there we go now here we need to enter username and password so by default here we can see the credentials are Kali and Kali. So let me actually copy this and then I'm going to paste it here and there we go. It is that easy guys to install Kali Linux in VMware. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.